Midtown Sacramento's Federalist Pizza began its humble beginnings in the backyard of the family home and has now become the premier West Coast shipping container and wood-fired pizza and craft beer bar. We were one of the first on the West Coast to do this uh, back in 2014 when we opened. And uh, back, you know, back in 2014 when we opened, there were only six maybe shipping container projects in the United States. And we were one of the largest at the time. And um, yeah, it was built in my backyard, seven shipping containers, we welded them together and built our oven, which we affectionately called Vader, and made a go at it. At the heartbeat of this establishment is its menu, anchored by Neapolitan style, OG, fluffy, bubbly crust. Pizza's fun, right? It's supposed to be fun. And so, you know, we, we focus on having fun and making sure that we create memories here at the restaurant um, through our food and through our experience. We're always searching for the perfect pie. And, you know, part of that process is sourcing, you know, ingredients that we know are gonna do the things that we need them to do in the oven and react a certain way and evoke a certain experience from people. Uh, we, and we can only do that by going out and spending time and finding those ingredients. And those ingredients, most of those ingredients happen right outside our back door. I mean, most of them are with an hour of the restaurant easily. And, uh, you know, like our margarita pizza specifically, you know, the tomatoes are grown uh, basically in my hometown, which is near Fireball, California. I mean, most of the tomatoes are from the Central Valley, Modesto, Stockton area. Uh, the olive oil that we put on most of our dishes is grown in the same area. And it's, you know, the same company provides us. It is an amazing olive oil. The basil, Central Valley, Modesto. The wood we use in our oven is Central Valley almonds. So all of the almond orchards that, that, that are fallen have come down and turned into wood and we get that wood and we turn it and we, we make pizza from it. So right down to our flour, the flour is milled in San Francisco and, um, and we, we incorporate that and it's, and it's just a very unique flavor. And there's only one way the Federalist likes to pair its food by pouring out what the Golden State brews best. Our tap selection is going to be set up with about you know, 12 different selections to choose from. About half of those are going to be IPAs, but not one IPA is going to be the same. We'll have everything from a Northeastern IPA, a West Coast style IPA, a big juicy IPA, a hazy a milkshake style IPA. We have something for everybody there. But on top of that, um, all of the beers that we focus on or showcase are either local beers, right? Like made in SAC uh, or made in California specifically. And, and only the best ones that complement each other. Um, and complements our food are what you're going to find on tap. It's a carefully crafted approach where taste, quality, and service are all held in high regard, a true local experience designed to live up to its name. We didn't want this, you know, Marv's Pizza Place kind of approach to thing. We wanted, we wanted something that seemed appropriate and seemed rooted in something, and then we stumbled upon um, the Federalist Papers and this idea that in the 1800s there was this Federalist style that was like, like an architectural style. And you'll see it around the restaurant. There's some convex mirrors that, that exist that are from that period that we sprinkled through in the house that the property that the Federalist is built on is actually a you know 1900s Federalist style Victorian. A lot of synonymous ideas between the Founding Fathers and, and, and the, the conversation about um, agriculture and politics and economics and it was very similar to what was going on in 2014 and we're here in the capital of California so we thought yeah let's give it let's give it something that's real and so we we jumped on board with that and um, yeah the dangerous freedom over peaceful slavery is actually a statement written by Thomas Jefferson in Latin and um, I don't know the Latin I'm not very good at it but uh, it's translated into dangerous freedom over peaceful slavery and, and for us it's been one of those things that um, has meant so many different things to so many different people. And uh, we have people from all walks of life who, who come in and take photos with it, they take selfies with it, or they buy the shirt and they wear it, and, um, and they're proud of it for, for whatever they've gone through in their life. So we, you know, we think it's something that resonates with a lot of people um, all over the place. It resonated with us early as a family, and um, you know, we, 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 like, we like it still hanging on our wall.